Hi, everybody. Welcome to TCM. I'm Ben Mankiewicz. And here tonight, TCM, for the first time ever, is partnered up with the WWE to bring you a special kind of pay-per-view mixed with awesome wrestling action and the atmosphere of a bygone era. This is the Golden Age of Hollywood. Now tonight, we're going to have some great wrestling action, great matches, and a lot of great classic actors will be in attendance, and some might be in matches. We got Myrtle Loy, Clark Gable, Joan Crawford, Lucille Ball, and Shirley Temple, just to name a few. A few. And also tonight, we're going to have the first ever Robert Osborne Memorial Battle Royal to honor one of the greatest hosts here on Turner Classic Movies. So sit back, relax, grab some popcorn, because we're going to have a fun night. So from WWE and Turner Classic Movies, here is the Golden Age of Hollywood. As all of you know, just a few days ago, we lost the greatest drummer of all time in rock and roll in music history. Neil Perth, the lead drummer for the band Rush. So with that being said, in honor of his memory and his legacy here tonight. Please rise as we toll the bell 10 times. Turn on Jay, turn on. What do you expect the rock to do? He stomps on the animal. Animal crackers in my soup. Most of them rabbits eat the milk chocolate on a high guy size group. So they make a lot of beautiful food. Sometimes we eat the vegetables. Ain't that the truth? That's all well and good, JR. In the world, they are. But in this business, in the day of Monday Night Raw. They're all broken up by Jeff Hardy, yes. What a doc. Well, hello, how are you? I always have a wonderful time, wherever I am, whomever I'm with. I have known what it is like to be in love. Wherever there's a fight so hungry, people
Oh shoot, The Undertaker, he shows up out of nowhere. And we welcome you live here to the Golden Age of Hollywood. I'm surprised, The Undertaker just showed up out of nowhere. What unexpected. But tonight, because Grimm, you know, was talking and, and to Bischoff and all of them, and even Sean Solstar brought it up. Wait a minute. Did Undertaker come out with that legacy title? Well, to his title, right? He should defend it. Here she, he should have to defend it here tonight, JR. And that's what they made him do. And what I'm asking going to be also, thank you so much for tuning in live here at the Golden Age of Hollywood. It's going to be great action. And of course, me, good old JR, Jim Ross, alongside Jerry the King Lawler. And we have a special guest commentator for tonight, TCM's own host, Ben Mankiewicz. Well, thank you so much for having me, guys. And uh, what a match is going to be here. We got uh, Hannah Black and The Undertaker. I only heard about The Undertaker, but, you know, Tanner Black seems uh, very talented, you know. But The Undertaker, uh, the dead man, I I cannot imagine him not picking up the win here tonight. And who knows, he may walk away with the World's Heavyweight Championship. Well, you may be right, Ben. And, and as you and, and explain to us this whole theme thing of the matches, well... Each match is going to have a special theme, right? And each match up, up screen is going to be um, designed like oh, like to be resemble an old mo a classic film movie poster, like this one. You may notice it's uh, Frankenstein themed, and the the music, the theme from that movie is in the background. So each themed match up screen is going to have that particular theme movies theme song in the background which is really cool and of course you know the whole theme of this whole pay-per-view is the theme from Gone with the Wind which was actually the first film ever shown on Turner Classic Movies well that was that that's one of my favorite films that's a great classic film right there you got you know Clark Gable you know his red butler and you also have Scarlett O'Hara and just what a great movie that was and especially as, as he picks her up Ben and he manhandles her picks her up and a horse up is up the up the stairs, and he just you know, rocks her world. Well, <laughs> yeah, what a great film! What a great film! And we got more action here. We also have the Robin Osborne Memorial Battle Royal, as I previously said in the intro. <laughs> oh, what a headlock that is! This Tanner Black gonna tap Jr. I uh, know Jr. And here's the thing, though, Jr. Tanner Black requested the Undertaker. I don't know if that's smart, but. He said he wants to add him to the Legend Killer tour list. Well, we're going to find out how, but I guarantee you that he's not going to be added to the list tonight. And this is also, of course, per legendary, per usual. It's a no disqualifications match. What do you expect? You, anybody else to be regular, but you know, legendary, they don't. When's the last time legendary has rules match? They don't do rules matches. Wait a minute, what the hell? What's Grim doing here? Oh my god almighty, come on Grim. Grim interfering. Well, JR, you said this is a no disqualifications match of anything goes, so Grim being in there is legal as a headlock. And come on, Tara Black can't win a match without any damn help. Come on, by god almighty. <laughs> well, well, uh, JR, you're very uh, enthusiastic. <laughs> yeah, but yeah, you know, I think you should play by the rules. Come on, Grim, what are you doing? What are you doing? That's right, Ben. But, you know, Grimm is legendary. And, you know, and, and lately JR's been saying some things while in the commentary. He's going to, you know, uh, you know, he's going to put his foot in his mouth and he's going to too deep sometimes. So, you know, yeah, but they got the whole freedom of speech. Should be okay, JR. <laughs> yeah, I talked to Grimm and Bishop. I don't think the freedom of speech lies here, JR. That don't apply here, Ben. Oh, what a shot. Oh, he dodged it. It's turned to a damn handicap matchup. It's still legally one-on-one, -on -one, but Grimm interfering, sticking his nose where it doesn't belong. Well, Joe, yeah, this is a legendary's match, so therefore it is, every bit of this is his business. Oh, what a kick out by The Undertaker. The Undertaker defy the odds. <laughs> yeah, it's great, you know, but so tell us more Ben, about TCM. You know, it's been around, what, since 93? Yeah, you know, 93 is when we started, you know, and, and, and uh, you get into more of that Robert Osborne aspect later on in the show. But, yeah, we started, you know, and, and Ted Turner, you know, he acquired all these, you know, rights and all these, you know, films and all that from the old Metro studio, which, you know, um, 
had, you know, our lots of movie archives from RKO, from, uh, you know, Metro, from Warner Brothers, and all these great films they've, you know, and he thought these need to be shown 24 hours a day. And we're the only station that really does it uncut, no commercials, and we have intros and outro introduction, which is really cool because normally, you know, it's only for like the prime time, you know, not normally during the day, but it's cool because normally you don't get, you know, um, you know, channels where they explain the movie, the backstory of the actors and the film and the making of it, which is what we do on TCM, which is really cool. But also on the weekends, though, all day, Saturday and Sunday, you, you have, you know, hosts doing introductions and uh, a lot of great act- hosts. It started out first with Robin Osborne, then I came along, and now we've got all these great, you know, and Eddie Muller, and all these great, you know, um, great, great hosts, one with people to work with, and it's awesome, you know, and we got TCM Backlot, you know, and TCM Wine Club, and all these great things, which is really cool to uh, to have, so I, I recommend, highly recommend, but uh, yeah, wait a minute, wait a minute, look at that, let's show the replay, look at Grim, Grim Ending! Is it gotta be over? It's gotta be over. No. Kick out, Undertaker. Kick out. Kick out. Oh, yes, he kicks out. He kicks out. Oh, sure, same, but yeah, so we do. We show a lot of great classic films. A lot of from the 30s, 40s, 50s, 60s, and it, it's amazing. People love it, you know, and, uh, you know, it's crazy because, you know, it's a true been that a lot of young people. They, they watch TCM and it's, it's, it's a, it doesn't surprise you, does it? Well, not anymore. It used to surprise me, you know, a couple of years ago, you know, but yeah, over the past couple of years, it's like, it doesn't surprise me to keep seeing it over and over again. It's just amazing the love that these young people have, the importance of these films, not just old films or classic films. And it's amazing to me that, you know, all these people love it and, and we stay supported, you know, when they're going away. You know, there's, there was another uh, station that played um, classic movies at one point, but not to the extent that we did, and it wasn't the same as us. And now, look, they don't even play classic movies anymore, so it's really, we're still around, and uh, we're awesome. So, yeah, so, it's a good pay-per-view, good for having me here, and it's going to be great tonight. A lot of good wrestling action. I remember growing up watching, you know, my dad at, you know, wrestling matches at the Garden, and, and all these great, you know, all these great things in wrestling matches, and, uh, you know, Boy George, and... Oh boy, George, uh, <laughs> thinking of the singer, you know, Gorgeous George, you know, Gorgeous George and San Martino and all these great wrestlers from back in the day, you know, yeah, it's great, yeah, good, good action, but I still don't get it though, what well, turned to a damn handicap match, come on, Grim, get out of here, well, JR, there's nothing the referee can do, JR, first of all, Grim, most importantly, the GM, co-GM, I should say, and secondly, it's an ODQ match, that, him being in there, being in there as illegal as a headlock. Yeah. Now, Ben, can you tell us what do the winners get if they win this Memorial Battle Royal for Robert Oliver Memorial Battle Royal? What do they get? Well, what do they get is they get um. You know, if I'm not sure exactly if I'm, if I'm correct, I talked to Grim and Bishop in the back. Uh, well, I hear they're lovely people, but anyway, but uh, and I hear every week like you guys are, but uh, but. Where I hear that you get a shot next week at the WWE Championship for Jay the Kid, and that's what he gets. So it's great. But don't forget, during that battle, we'll talk more about Robert Osborne, and uh, it's going to be great. It's going to be great. Let's get back here to call in some action. <laughs> uh, Grim just standing in the ring. Yeah. Undertaker gets up. Grim is ready to warm up that stove. He's ready to warm up that stove. Oh, Undertaker dodged it. Undertaker dodged it. Yes. Undertaker was about to eat Grimm's feet. You don't get away from that, Undertaker. You take it like a man. Turn her back with a knee. No, this turned to a damn handicap match. Of course, Turn her back agreed to the match. Of course, he wanted. He knew Grimm was going to help all along. I'll sit her. It makes me sick. <laughs> yes. And by the way, Ben, I like the stage. What was the concept? Did you have involvement of it? Now, now we have some designers who actually design our sets on TCM. As you know, each person has their own different set design. And, you know, it was like a little more of a homey atmosphere, which was really cool. You know, I had one, Robert Osborne had one, all these, especially Eddie Muller has a really cool one. 
when he does Noir Alley every Saturday night or Sunday morning, I'd say, at 12 a.m. in the morning, which is really cool. But anyway, yeah, so his idea is huge. It's you want to make it look like the Hollywood, golden age of Hollywood, you know, theme you have, you know, the whole, um, the front, you know, the whole, like, the old theaters, you know what I'm saying, the marquee thing, and then you have the screen, a huge screen, which want to make it look huge, larger than life. And you have the one screen on one side and a bunch of classic movie posters, the TCM logo, W logo. You know, I like way better how you guys designed W logo. Usually it's a red swoosh, but yeah. Added the color of TCM's color, which is really, I like TCM's color, like a greenish type of color, light, light green. It's really cool. Thank you. And then, you know, on the top, we have the big old, like the old fashioned, you know, from the 30s, 40s, right? The old theaters, right? With the curtain, right? On top. So it's a huge arena, really huge. But I like it though, and I think they had kind of good. They came with them good design. So, and again, when I shot by Graham, by Graham, uh oh, look at Graham. All oh, right, down to the ribs of the Undertaker, right down to the ribs. How much more punishment can the Undertaker withstand here tonight? I don't know, Jr. But he can't withstand much longer than that. Graham is warming up that stove. He's warming up the stove for some double chin. Why is Tanner back here blocking the bell? Well, it's alright. Yep, we got a good action here tonight. And don't forget, Jaron, the main event is going to be Jay the Kievis versus Roman Reigns. Oh, yeah, it's going to be a good match. You know, I'm looking forward to that that match. You know, it's going to be great. You know, Jay the Kievis, you know, great athlete. And uh, it's going to be a great, uh, a great athlete. One, two, three. Oh, Damn it! Here is your winner, Tanner Black Jerry Still, the world's hair champion. Wait, 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 I'm correct. Let me see. Ben Grimm, if I, I mean, uh, JR, if I'm correct, Tanner Black is the world's heavyweight champion. The NXT champion. One half of the world tag team champion. Now he, is, he has the leg shadow. He is Tanner Four Belts. <laughs> and what does that mean? Does that mean that if I'm correct? That this is Legendary's 14th title in their collection. What a wow, like God Almighty. How many more? How many more? Well, I don't know, JR, but it's going to be great. And we thank you so much for tuning in here to the Golden Age of Hollywood. Coming up next. And the next match, which is themed after the movie The Woman, starring Joan Crawford, Norma Shreer, and Rosalind Russell. It is for the Woman's. Championship and the first ever TCM Women's Championship. It's going to starring Angelina E, Shirley Temple, and Miss Joan Crawford. Coming up next here on the Golden Age of Hollywood.